They're really fixing up that area. It's looking very pretty. A lot of new people are coming in. So as they fix up different parts of Jersey City, more people are coming in. And chances of those people being saved are very small, coming in as believers already is what I meant to say. So those people need for someone to reach out the gospel to them. There's two universities in, um, actually there's three. There's three colleges in Jersey City. There's Hudson County Community College, St. Peter's College, and NJCU, which a lot of us are alumni of NJCU. Christina and I are alumni, and Jonathan, we have a couple of people from NJCU. Um, I don't think we have anyone from St. Peter's, but there's people who we've gone to school in Jersey City. We have roots in Jersey City. And the last thing is, is that we have a strong and vibrant public school system. We have teachers here that are part of the district of Jersey City that they're teaching in Jersey City. So we just want to reach out to that community as well. So some of the things that you guys probably don't know, one of the things I mentioned earlier is that we have 250,000 residents, which probably maybe there's even more residents now. Of those 250,000 people, only 62% to have to claim to have a religious affiliation. And that's not just Christianity. That's a broad term. People who say, I believe in God, whatever God that may be, falls under that umbrella. So only, so that means that there's 95,000 people left to be reached for Jesus Christ. That's a lot of people. And not... And in, the city alone. in this city alone, that's not Hoboken, that's not Bayonne, that's in Jersey City alone. That's 95,000 people who haven't been converted yet, who haven't given their heart to Christ. So logistically, as it says up there, not one church could do that. We see that there's a lot of churches in Jersey City, but we need to all work together to help get all these people saved because it's really about the kingdom. One thing, another thing we wanted to mention is that we do need more congregations that embrace multi-ethnic, the, the people who are multi-ethnic. There's some people who are more than one race that are black and white that they may not feel comfortable in a white church, they might not feel comfortable in a black church. So we want to have a church that every race feels comfortable that a Hispanic can worship alongside someone who's of Indian descent or of Asian descent, and that they can feel comfortable to be here and worship the Lord. Amen. So that's, that's one of the main goals that we have as the Hub Church, to reach out to those people who maybe have been neglected by other believers. We want to be that opening hand, that loving hand that reaches out to those other religions.